cinematic universe. We've all heard the term, but the real question is, is it really working? Ask us about 10 or 11 years ago, and we would have never known what you meant when you said cinematic universe. Why is that? Well, from a certain movie called Iron Man, back in the day when Disney didn't have their money-grubbing hands all over it. Back when Marvel and Paramount Pictures had a deal for most of the rights for all the Marvel characters. That was when they introduced us to what is now known as the Cinematic Universe. And it's something that has taken Hollywood by storm. With good reason too, I mean, the Avengers saga has been the biggest that we have seen in years, in decades, maybe even ever since Star Wars. They changed the game forever. In fact, nowadays we are looking at 2008 as a blueprint for other studios. Even as audiences, we almost expect it, nay, we demand it from other movies that we hold dear to ourselves. Because what a bunch of movie producers and studio executives did was bring a ragtag team of old school superhero no-names into our hearts and onto the big screen. It was a phenomenon and it still is bringing in more money than so many other people who have been trying to do this. But despite what we all may think about Marvel sensation when it comes to the big screen, this isn't really the first time that Hollywood has ever seen it. This is by far the biggest success, but let's think back a little bit. Going back in time, like really in time, there were big Hollywood hits known as monster movies. Those movies known now today are The Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, even Godzilla. Many of these characters had their own movies that then ventured off and created other movies with those said characters to bring in Godzilla vs. Mothra, or The Wolfman and Frankenstein, or even The Wolfman and Dracula. Many times this has happened and it was a pretty big hit. Not to mention those characters are still known today, so I would say that's a pretty big success. So who's to say that Marvel and Paramount and Disney didn't grab from the past to make things work now? It's really quite fascinating to see how history can actually create something that is so prominent in the present and quite possibly the future. But does that mean that creating a whole cinematic universe for multiple different studios and multiple different characters that we hold dear will work. Dare I answer that question with a solid no. So many times lately have movie producers tried to scrape the bottom of the barrel of the characters that they still own copyrights to to bring them in closer together with the characters that we know and love today. Spearheading something like that that's been so fast-tracked to be able to keep up to what Marvel has been doing has come up short. That might even be putting it really lightly because a lot of the things that we've been getting lately have been pure crap. The most obvious one that comes to most of our minds is the universe that Warner Brothers has created with DC. That is with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and the list continues to go on. We know it as the DC Extended Universe. Or is it the world of DC? Or, I, mean, I don't know, I have no idea what they're doing anymore. Back in 2008, when Iron Man first came out and teased us with that small teaser of the Avengers, we didn't know what to expect. And I bet you neither did DC or Warner Brothers. When everything was going so well, it looked like DC wanted to throw their hat in the ring and start their own universe with the characters that they already own. Of course, I'm telling you things that you already know. But the problem that I don't think that everybody sees is that DC tried to fast track everything so that they could keep up with Marvel when they had all the time in the world to be able to make this a really great universe for all of us to enjoy if they just had the patience. But the thing is, is that they didn't take the time to love the characters as much as their audience did because they fast-tracked so many of their movies. In fact, they fast-tracked all of their movies and put them all into one. Justice League was probably one of the biggest appointments and the biggest flop that we probably all saw coming because we absolutely fell in love with Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man and maybe because they had the time to cultivate it, we were able to know his backstory and take a no-name 
and put him into our hearts and make him into an American icon. DC, sadly, was too confident in the characters that they already owned, so they didn't give them the justice that they deserved. <laughs> justice. That's funny, because the, because the Justice League. And therein lies the success that Marvel has had with their universe. That is, their characters. Developing characters is an absolute must for me in movies. If you don't have good enough character development, I'm more likely than not to hate that movie. But let's be honest, it's a character that drives a universe. If you don't have good characters that you cannot get behind with and relate to, you don't have very strong legs to stand on. Let's think of another universe that has sadly just not done well. In fact, it did so awful that it's so ironic to think that this was actually what started the whole cinematic universe to begin with. I'm talking, of course, about Universal Studios' Dark Universe when it started out with the movie The Mummy starring Tom Cruise. The ironic part is, is that remember those monster movies back in the day, like way, way back in the day? This is what they were trying to recreate and it flopped hardcore. So what was the reason and why didn't it work? It's got Tom Cruise in it, it should work, right? The answer is simple. They just didn't take the time to develop a story. In fact, all the movie was, was just trying to build a universe that we weren't even familiar with to begin with. In other words, they tried to run before they could even walk to begin with. The Mummy movie wasn't even a movie. It was an introduction to a universe that hadn't even existed for phew, a century. Which is sad. I would have loved to be able to see all of the old, great classic horror characters that I loved growing up and watching when I was younger. I, I know that sounds kind of weird, actually. But I love them nonetheless. And so it's so sad to see that that may never happen because it's already failed. Or has it? Is it not too late? That's a problem that I feel like is a huge one in Hollywood, is that if something doesn't work, let's scrap it and redo it again. Which reminds me about what is to come in cinematic universes. And honestly, some of these are so ridiculous, I don't know if I can, I can, ha I, I don't even know if I can handle this. Now, granted, everything that I'm going to tell you is most likely rumored or just talk between movie producers, but this is seriously what people talk about, thinking that this is what audiences want. So, there's your disclaimer. Now, imagine, if you will, Transformers. Yeah, you remember those guys? The sucky, huge robots that we all loved as a kid, but now hate as adults? Now, imagine those suck bots to be teamed up with another childhood favorite of ours, that is, the Power Rangers. Seriously? Seriously. I mean, the Transformers suck so bad that they feel like other characters are supposed to be able to hold them up. And of, out of all of the people that they could have chose from when it comes to the array of lovable characters, Power Rangers? Those are the guys we made fun of. Us Ninja Turtle fans gotta stick together, y'all. Wait, what? You mean to tell me that Ninja Turtles is gonna be thrown in that mix? And G.I. Joes? <sighs> yeah, seriously. This is ridiculous. Just because things have worked in the past doesn't mean that they're relevant for the future. I feel like, honestly, we're going backwards instead of forwards with all of this cinematic universe nonsense. What is the problem with just creating something original and new? All of those things in the past have been original and new once. So where are we going from here? Is this something that will work and will hold up in the future? Is this something that our kids will be able to watch later and be marveled by it? Don't get me wrong. I love what Marvel has been doing with the universe that they've given us. These are characters who I've forgotten about and who I loved when I was a kid. So I love being able to rekindle that nostalgia. I'd hate for the day to come for me to be disappointed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of a weird direction that they choose to go from. It's lasted this long, I will give it that, but 10 more years of this? Can we just live and let live when it comes to the things that we do love and move on and create original content that we can continue to love and even better, to show our future families? Is it gonna feel more like television than actually going to go and see a film? With every single movie being an episode of a never-ending story, 
where's the closure in that? Are we ever going to get it? And will we be disappointed before that end ever gets there? These are honestly things that I think about because I'd hate for the day to come and me be disappointed and hate the whole universe. Closure is a good thing to have, whether we are scared of it as an audience or not. It's okay to end things on a good note and look back at it and say, that was a good time. So the real question is, how much longer are we gonna wait until we get sick of all of this?